Well, there is even more confusion tonight about whether the eviction moratorium has ended or not. The CDC just announced they plan to extend it until October 3rd. However, a uh, previous Supreme Court ruling indicated that only Congress could extend it past Saturday's deadline. So President Biden said he hopes it'll buy people time to apply for rental assistance while it works its way through the courts. In the meantime, 9,000 people in Clark County are waiting to find out if their applications for rental help will be approved. A local business owner tells the I-Team it's not just tenants who are struggling right now. He says landlords and property managers are left to pick up the pieces literally. The I-Team's Vanessa Murphy explains. While some tenants are facing an eviction crisis, the owner of a property management company says some landlords are facing a crisis of their own, finding some properties left like this after tenants are kicked out. You can see a window broken, belongings left behind. The place is just trashed. What other business is vilified for trying to stay in business? But yet property managers are, owners are. Derek Mullinger owns Vice Realty, which he says manages about 650 units throughout the Las Vegas Valley. He tells the I-Team this whatever. is a frequent problem. Closet doors ripped off. Properties destroyed after tenants are locked out. We don't just file a piece of paper and kick someone out because we don't like them. If the eviction moratorium ends, Molinger estimates he'll soon be locking out tenants in 20 units for unpaid rent, something he says could have been prevented if they applied for rental assistance. They don't want it because they see us as us against them. And it's really not that way. We have a symbiotic relationship. I need tenants. Tenants need me. While evictions are expected to increase, rent in southern Nevada is also uh, going up. I was, up. I was calling to tell them that I was going to pay it on Friday. The I-Team first on contacted Mullinger after we met I his tenant, phone Tommy phone Wesley, phone Monday. He told the I-Team his rent was raised by $275, which Mullinger confirms. 50. Mm -hmm. That's a really big jump. It's How can you jump. justify that? Uh, same way the gas station justifies going from 243 in January to $4.11 today. Same way Home Depot charges $70 for a sheet of plywood now, and it used to be in the teens. Same way when I go to the grocery store, prices went up. He says in many cases he's willing to work with tenants like Wesley by giving them another month at the old rate. But he also has obligations to the landlords he represents. They're trying to make a living. Some of them count on this for their retirement. Some of them, yes, they have a bunch of units, and this is a business for them. The majority of people, it's not that. Mullinger says at the end of the day, he just wants the rent money, whether it's from the rental assistance or directly from tenants. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, Clark County reports that 9,000 applications for rental assistance are pending. Right now, they are making it through about 800 to 1,000 a week. Now, if a tenant applies, they cannot be kicked out. Mullinger says he is frustrated with how slow the process is going. So we put a list of resources on our website, 8newsnow.com. It includes a link for rental assistance and what tenants should do if they receive an eviction notice.